The question is, can Camaro compete with Cayman? We came out this end of the driveway this morning after doing the Goblin Day yesterday. And what do you know, my Camaro 1LE 2 liter turbo is sitting next to a base Cayman with a 2 liter turbo. They're both 2019s, uh, kind of sporty coupes and sports cars. I keep calling this a sports car. Let's find out if it is. Let's see how these two line up in acceleration, braking, and slalom right here at our private runway today. John, lift off so it will look a little closer for the camera. You're going to ruin the show. Uh, John here is part of Remote Area Medical, which is a fantastic charity. He's a dentist and he goes overseas to help poor people with their dental issues. Also right here in America, in Appalachia or anywhere else where it's needed. So we've come out here to Remote Area Medical. They've got a little place with a runway that was going to be a high class housing development. Well now we're using the runway to comparison test. The question is, can Camaro compete with Cayman? I don't know. 300 horse, 278. And we got a 1LE, which is the highest performance Camaro there is. We got a base Cayman, which is the lowest performance Cayman there is. How's it going to line up? We're here to find out. All right, John, you ready? I'll do the countdown, and I will probably go a little early. <laughs> Just in case, you know, I'm the host. All right, Camaro. All right, people, you ready? Bring the revs up a little. Three, two, one. Ooh, I got a nice jump. Got rubber into second. Come on, look at me. John, I wasn't serious. <laughs> Is that all that Cayman has? That's it. Sorry, man. You lying sack of dog do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go do it. And this, did you, did you floor it? John, I was kidding. <laughs> this is show business. I know. That's why I thought I was doing what told me in the script. No, you're free to push my face in the dirt. Don't you worry. <laughs> let's find out how these babies really line up. <laughs> I'm like, what? Is that all he's got? <laughs> okay, back to the start line. John, now, I was only kidding about the letting off for the host. <laughs> okay. Show me all you got. I mean, floor it. I don't think that Cayman will take the Camaro. We'll see. I got America on my side, buddy. I don't care about your sloping roof line and droopy nose. That's a base model. This is the best two liter four cylinder Camaro there is. So you're gonna give me all you got? You got it. All the way down to the lights. All, the way down to the all right, my man. All right, first test. You ready? Okay, for this next adventure, we're gonna go zero to 100 miles an hour and back to zero as quick as we can. All right, John, 
You have destroyed the host. You're never coming on this show again, unless you're in something a lot slower. What else you got in the driveway? Uh, I saw a Mini. Okay, now we're gonna go zero to 100 to zero, and then just hold. You ready? Three, two, one. Boom! That's got good brakes. <laughs> let's see, see, let's see how this came out, folks. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa! What is that white thing off in the distance? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, hundred, two, three, five, six. Seven, eight, hundred times. Walked it off. It's 190 of my paces, which I know from my autocross experience in the old days, very reliable two and a half feet each. Two and a half times 190, uh, two times 190 is 380, and half of 190 is 85. I'm probably wrong about all that. 465 feet longer for the Camaro to get to 100 and then stop to zero. A lot of that distance was just getting to 100. Cayman is just plain faster. The Camaro cannot compete in a straight line. Big difference when you add in the braking. 465 feet from 0 to 100 to 0. So next, we're going to set up a slalom, see if the Camaro can save face against this fine piece of German engineering, which, by the way, is almost twice as much money.
Well, that brings back some memories. Solo autocross days. We did the acceleration test, came and killed the Camaro. Well, we just did the slalom test, and we came back with the Cayman at an 8.6 second run, and the Camaro, 8.7. Couple more laps, you know, they could have either one maybe could have won this. So much closer. And the reason is the Camaro is a 1LE. The 1LE models of the Camaros are highly track prepared. And a 1LE Camaro has got much stiffer shocks than the base Cayman. The Cayman took longer to transfer weight. It had a little more roll. I had to be careful with inputs. It was easy to get a bit of an oversteer in the transitions of the slalom. Whereas the Camaro was more planted. It has a lot more rebound and compression damping, just more damping, quicker weight transfer, quicker responses, and that's what closed that gap to the Cayman. It was really close in the slalom. Thanks for joining us, car people. We just had a bunch of fun out on the runway. I finally found something that the Camaro could compete with the Cayman in. Burnouts! <laughs> Camaro does better burnouts! The Cayman is amazingly fast for a 300 horsepower rating. Very impressive. The Turbo 4 works so well in the Caymans, even though you know we all hate the way it sounds, they go. And the Cayman S and Cayman GTS are even faster. But of course, there's a Camaro V6, a Camaro SS, and a Camaro ZL1 1LE. Take that, Cayman GTS. It was lots of fun. Thanks for coming and being part of the show. If you like what we're doing, subscribe. Hit that like button and hit the notification bell. Really helps us keep up. Having fun with cars on our big channel. We'll maybe come back out here to the runway and run whatever we can get our hands on. More fun with the Randy Pope's channel. <laughs>